Here we come! Whee! <laughs> Whee! Well, Gaston! <laughs> Gaston must be so hungry! <laughs> I can hear voices! Someone's coming! Hide, everyone! In a dwarf mine, oh so old! We dig for diamonds, we dig for gold! It's the dwarves! Dinner time! Well, well. Good boy! <laughs> when you finish that, there's pudding! I don't believe it! Gaston's only been here a day, and he's already got people feeding him! Right, lads! Back to work! Dig, dig, dig! Dig, dig, dig! Lucky the dwarves didn't spot us! They don't like strangers in their minds! Yes! That's why I took the precaution of hiding the elf rope. If the dwarves had seen the rope hanging from the top of the cave, they would have known someone was in here. I'm not called the wise one for nothing. Um, but if the rope's down here, how are we going to climb out? Don't worry. The wise one will have thought of that. He'll have a brilliant plan. Ah, oh, uh, it, this is a bit embarrassing. I, uh, uh, uh... So, the wise one pulled the rope down but forgot that we need to climb up it to get out. Yes, that's about it. No worries, we'll just fly out. But, but us elves can't fly. Oh, OK. I'll magic the rope to the top. Let's go! No, thank you, Nanny Palum. We've had quite enough of fairy magic. Now it's time for some elf skill. What's your plan, wise old elf? We simply lasso the sails and stop the windmill. Take hold of this rope, elves. Right Are you sure this is a good idea? We know what we're doing. Stand back, everyone. He's got it. Hooray! Well done, wise old elf. Told you it would work. <gasps> I hope they're OK. <laughs> Elves are never happy. Maybe you could stop the spell now, Nanny Plum. Ah! What did he say? Stop the wind. Oh, OK. All winds, away you go. Wise old elf, are you all right? Of course I'm all right. I'm an elf. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just get my bag of flour. Nanny Plum, I strongly advise you not to open that door. Oh, stop fussing. Kitchen. Now, let's mix all the ingredients. Blackberry, sugar, lemon, dewdrop, slug slime, and finally, frog burp. And now, the magic words. Sugar and spice, glug, 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 burp of a frog, slime of a slug. Ah, that's going to taste horrible. No, Ben. Remember, it's a potion to rub on the feet, not to drink. 
Nobody would drink this. Oh, my! That is bad! <gasps> uh, that did taste disgusting! Daddy, you shouldn't have drunk it. <gasps> you should have rubbed it on your feet. What? I wonder what will happen now. Let's see what the book says. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Oh, dear. What is it? Silly me. It's not a recipe for cold medicine after all. It's a cure for baldness. <gasps> <gasps> but I must say, Your Majesty, long hair really does suit you. <laughs> Nanny Plum, I think my cold has gone. Hooray! Achoo! <coughs> oh, I seem to have caught the king's cold. When you turned Ben into a frog, abracazobadee. You should not have turned him into a bird. Zabadizee. And certainly not into a rabbit. Abracazabadee. No, at the start, you should have made him Ben again. Abracazobadee zabadizee. Hooray! For you, I'm glad that's over. You see, girls, it's easy. Anyone can do it. OK. Can I have another go? No. If anyone can do it, I want to go. Oh, all right. Holly, give Ben your wand. But, but, elves don't do magic. I'd like to give magic a go, just this once. That's the spirit, Ben. Uh, into frogs, abracazobody. Phew. For a moment, I thought Ben was going to turn us into frogs. Abracazobody? Ugh, <laughs> 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 oh, it's no good. Elves don't do magic. Hmm, maybe you just need a teeny tiny bit of magical help. Tricky trick trick. This young elf do magic. There. Have another go, Ben. Into frogs. Abracazobody. Hey, it worked. <coughs> Into birds. Zabadee Z. And into rabbits. Abracazabadee. There, all finished. Very good, Ben. But haven't you forgotten something? Uh, what? You need to turn them back into girls again. Do I? Oh, OK then. Abracazobadee-zabadee-zee! It's Big Bad Barry! He's swimming towards Redbeard's boat. Oh, dear. He's going to eat it. No! Me treasure! <laughs> Did you see that? He swallowed it whole, like it were a grape. Oh, what a shame. Shall we go home, then? Go home? But we haven't got me treasure! Well, we can't do much about that now. I never thought I'd say it, but Nanny Plum is right. Unless you want to sail into Barry's stomach and take your treasure back, this adventure is over. You're right, me fruity pancake. Mm. Take us home, Mr. Ralph. Aye, aye, Captain Redbeard. Uh, who turned out the lights? It's all gone dark. Where are we? Oh, we must have sailed into a cave. Mr Elf was chatting instead of looking where he was going. I was parked. Well, we're somewhere strange, and no mistake. And I'll shave me beard off if there's not something fishy going on. Turn on the lights, Mr Elf. Aye, aye, Captain. It smells fishy. What a pong. Where are we? Look, me ship! There are more boats as well. <gasps> it's Bunty, the boat Big Bad Barry had last winter. That's my old boat, Trixabel. And there's Fifi and Miss Boo Boo. Uh, if all those boats are inside Big Bad Barry... Then we must be inside Big Bad Barry. By all that's wet and fishy, you're right. We're in the belly of a big fish. That explains the smell. 
Just think. All those years I tried to catch Barry, and now he's caught me. How are we going to get out of here? Nanny Plum! Magic us up some lunch! But I can't, Your Majesty. It's no magic day, remember? Hmm. Then what are we going to eat? Um, would you like to come to the Great Elf Tree for lunch? That's very kind of you, Ben. We've got lots of food. Really? Then we shall take you up on your kind offer. It's very quiet. Hello? Anybody home? Ben, why isn't the escalator working? Uh, I don't know. Wise old elf, what on earth is happening? Well... Nothing. But aren't there toys to be made? Yes, Ben. We've a big order for Father Christmas. But we can't make them. Why not? The elf engine isn't working. We can fix it. Elves are good at... No, no, no. It can't be fixed. The engine has run out of fuel. Oh, and what kind of fuel does it use? I can't say. I demand to know. It's a secret. Wise old elf, what fuel does the elf engine use? Oh, it's mud. Mud? No, it's mud. Mustard? M Marshmallows? M M Melted cheese? M M M M M magic! <gasps> magic? Are you saying the Great Elf Engine is run on magic? Yes. But you hate magic! Yes. But it has a small carbon footprint and it never stops. Except today. Yes. Because today is no magic day. There must be another way to run the factory. Yes, the emergency power. Of course. Thank you, elf boy. Oh, elf man. We have to find Strawberry's secret hideout and tell her to stop the snow. <laughs> The whole of the Little Kingdom is freezing cold! Even in here! Yes, my bottom is getting cold sitting on the ice throne. Couldn't you be the Sunshine Queen instead? It's too late now. I'm Strawberry Ice Queen. <laughs> Strawberry's hideout must be around here somewhere. We need to look out for a sort of place that a supervillain Ice Queen might live in. Uh, like that? Wow! A giant palace of ice! This is better than the Elf Cave any day! No, it's not! It's just showing off! <laughs> not so fast! Strawberry Ice Queen. What brings you here, Elf Boy? Elf Man! I've come to stop you. But you can't stop me. I'm the Ice Queen. <laughs> oh, that's cold. Strawberry, the grown-ups are a bit cross about all the freezing snow. Oops, are they? Yes. yes. Are we in trouble? I don't think we're in trouble, as long as the game is over. OK. Do I win? No, the goodies win. That's not fair. You're stuck in the ice. Oh, OK, you win. Hooray! Finally, I can get rid of the ice throne. My bottom is freezing. <laughs> Floating. There is no gravity in space. Nothing to hold you down. Sorry, I forgot to turn on the ship's gravity motor. Ooh. Ooh. Ow. <gasps> Look at all the pretty sparkly lights. Behold, the wondrous science of an alien race. Where's the toilet? We do not go to the toilet. Incredible! Being so advanced, they have stopped needing to go to the toilet. No 
toilet? Well, what if I want to go? You should have gone before we set off. Maybe there'll be toilets at the beach. Is there a beach on Planet Bong? Planet Bong is all beach. Wow! All beach! Yes, it is very hot and sunny. Would anyone like a snack? Yes, please. This machine can make any food or drink you like. Can it make orange juice? Yes. Mmm, delicious. Can it make a jam and peanut butter and banana sandwich? Yes. Amazing. Can it make jelly? No, it can make anything in the universe, but not jelly. Which is a shame, because I like jelly. Jelly? I can do jelly. Nanny! Nanny. What? A little bit of jelly never did anyone any harm. Magic jelly, please. Oh, it is a bit small. I would like lots of jelly. OK. Magic jelly. Lots, lots, lots! The great leader of Planet Bong is here to celebrate this special meeting of peoples. Hello! He's tiny! Yes, on Planet Bong, we get smaller as we get older. Hello! Who said that? <laughs> He's down there, Daddy. Oh, hello! Hello! Say hello, everybody. The great leader is very old. It is a fantastic honour for you to meet him. Say hello, Gaston. Hello! <gasps> Gaston's eaten the great leader! Uh. Naughty Gaston, spit the great leader out! <coughs> Terribly sorry, he's not really house-trained. Uh, yes. <laughs> As our special guests, we will now welcome you with a song. What a horrible noise! When are they going to start playing the tune? This is our national anthem. And delightful it is, too. Cyrus, why do you live underground? Once, Planet Bong was covered in plants. Everywhere was green and beautiful, and the people were happy. Then the plants began to die out. It became too hot to live on the surface, so we moved underground. Everyone lives underground? Yes, even the animals. Animals? <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Ah, an alien monster! Don't worry, it is just a flobber gurgle twat. Plug. It is a pet. <laughs> oh, the flubber gurgle thwats blog is so cute. Can I visit your houses? Of course. Would you like to see inside the great elf tree? Or the little castle? Or come to my house? Where is your house, Strawberry? Me and Violet live in the fairy village. Ooh, I'd love to see the fairy village. OK, follow me. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are, the fairy village. Wow, do you all live inside toadstools? Yes. We used to live inside mushrooms, but the big people kept picking them. No one eats toadstools. <laughs> <laughs> but there's no door to get in. Yes, there is. It's a magic door. You have to tap three times and spin around and say, Open Sesame. See? Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello, Daddy. My dad's the fairy mayor. Yes, and you're here just in time for the meeting. What meeting? Emergency meeting! Emergency meeting! As your mayor, I have called an emergency meeting because there are big people in the meadow. <laughs> Two grown-ups, one little girl and a dog having a picnic. Now, as you all know, the big people are dangerous. I'll say they stepped on my granddad. And they ate my house. So we must be very careful. And if anyone sees any big people, sound the alarm! I've seen a big person. What? Where? 
Who? Me. I'm a big person. Ah, a big person. Sound the alarm. Ah, big person. Oh, don't they like me? Don't worry, Lucy. It's not your fault you're a big person. You're a little person now anyway. Daisy, Poppy, you turn me back this instant or I'll... I'm Dolly Plum. Feed me, please. <laughs> yes, I think we can make a copy of this. Come along, please. If I press your tummy, will you sing a song? Don't you even think of pressing my tummy. Dolly Plum is lots of fun. <laughs> you are indeed. You are indeed. So, how are you going to copy me? We'll use this copying machine. This is how it works. If we take this tennis ball and put it right here... <laughs> an exact copy. Ooh. Now, for Dolly Plum. Um, actually, I've changed my mind. Can you put me down, please? I don't think I want to do this today. Thank you. Thank you, Nanny. You just have. What do you mean? What do you mean? Yes, Your Majesty. No, Your Majesty. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't sound like me. <laughs> it does a bit, Nanny. Dolly Plum. It's a perfect copy. Yes, and now that we've copied Nanny, we can make as many as we want. Hold on. Let's stick to one, just to keep the twins happy. I quite agree. One Nanny Plum is quite enough. Fine. Now, will someone please magic me back again? OK, Nanny. Oh, that's better. Now I can get on with my work. My Dolly! Dolly! My Dolly! My Dolly! Dolly. Worry, we'll help Gaston look after them. Yes, it'll be fun. <laughs> Bye! Nanny Plum! Oh, that's the king. What does he want? Nanny Plum! I can't find my glasses. Have you tried looking on your head? Oh, yes. Now, where's my crown? Nanny! <laughs> oh, I'll have to go. Have fun, you two, and Uncle Gaston. <laughs> <laughs> Keith's riding on Gaston's back. <laughs> now the other two want to go. <laughs> oh, Gaston looks a bit tired. Have a little rest, Gaston. We'll play with the baby ladybirds for a bit. Let's play fetch. OK, Amber. <laughs> Emerald wants to go too. And Keith. <laughs> They're very fast. Don't they ever get tired? <laughs> Amber, Emerald and Keith. And Gaston's their uncle. <laughs> They're a bit hyper. We know. They need a nap. When my little sister doesn't have a nap, she gets overtired. What happens then? She cries. Sit down, please. You see, it's impossible. Sit! Oh. Just be firm. Let your pet know who's boss. Now, let's all show Gaston how we walk with a lead. Nice and upright. That's it. Do you want to have a go, Gaston? No, don't talk to Gaston like that. Who's the boss here? Well, I've always thought of Gaston as a friend. You're the boss, so show him that. Gaston, heel. Knees up, Gaston. Chin in the air. Don't slouch. Good boy, Gaston. What a good boy. 
Now you do it, Mr. Thistle. Ah, uh, heel? Not bad, but louder. Heel! Okay, to the obstacle course, everyone. Don't dilly dally. Now the seesaw. Very good. Through the tunnel. Excellent. Round the poles. And jump over the mud pit. No flying, please, Bobby. Come on, Gaston, jump over. Remember who's in charge. Gaston, jump! That's it. Now the seesaw. Good work. Straight through, please. Good boy, Gaston. Round the poles. And jump over the mud pit. Uh-oh, Gaston's in the mud. He's covered in it. Ha-ha, <laughs> no harm in a bit of mud, is there, Gaston? <laughs> Lift up these pebbles, please. Move them forwards. This is hard. Yes. Now backwards. When I clap my hands, stop. Excellent. And finally, one simple question. Magic must only be used for serious things or just for fun. Um, uh, is the answer. Magic must only be used for serious things. Correct. You've all passed the magic test. Hooray! And I'm Mrs Elf again. You may now hug me. <laughs> <laughs> Well done, everyone. Here are your licenses, signed by me, the Chief Examiner. I knew they'd pass because I taught them. That makes their success even more amazing. Thank you, wise old elf. Perhaps we should have a little celebration. Oh, yes. Can we have a party? And what every party needs is magic jelly. Uh, Nanny, I don't think that's such magic a... Magic jelly. Lots and lots. Mr. Daisy, used a bit too much magic there. Nanny Palum, do you even have a magic licence? Of course I do. Oh, dear. It's expired. What does that mean? It means... It's worthless. Can't I do magic, then? No, it's against the law. No grown-up fairy can do magic without a licence. What? I'm taking away your wand. You can't do that. I just did. It's an outrage. The king will be very angry. <laughs> she still looks a lot like Strawberry, though. Hmm, yes. Let's add a disguise. Perfect. Vikings, 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 brave and strong and true. Sailing in our Viking boats across the sea so blue. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Hello. I'm an elf who has just moved to the neighbourhood. Oh, really? What's your name, little elf? Strawberry. That's a nice name. I mean Alice. Even nicer. Come in. This elf is a fairy spy. Let's tell her silly made-up things about our boat. Wow! You've got a big boat. Yes, and it isn't finished yet. We've got to put the legs on. Legs? All Viking boats had legs. Duck legs. Duck legs? And we're going to change the dragon's head for, um... A hippopotamus head that breathes fire! <laughs> <laughs> Very interesting. Well, it's been nice meeting you. I'd better be going. Are we really going to put those things on our boat? No, that was just so the spy will tell Nanny Plum. And she'll build a very silly boat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm back! Ah! An elf! No, it's me! The elf's boat is really, really big! No 
problem. We can do big. And we need duck legs. Oh, really? Then duck legs it is. Ah. And a hippopotamus head at the front. <laughs> that breathes fire. The twins have escaped. <laughs> <laughs> They're out in the wild! Sound the daisy and poppy alarm! Oh, this is all a big fuss over nothing. Oh, yes! The twins are out there somewhere and they've got your wand! What other spells did you teach them? Ah, uh, I did mention something about walking trees. Tree go walkie! <laughs> Walkies! Daddy, trees are walking towards the little castle. I don't want to hear it. It's like a bad dream. I suppose this is your doing, Nanny Plum. No, it was Granny Thistle. Hello. Granny Thistle, I might have known. It's been a long time, Cedric. Not long enough, Millicent. You always were a troublemaker. Yes, Mother, you started this. Now you have to sort it out. OK, you're the boss. I just think children should have a bit of fun, that's all. There's good fun and bad fun. This is bad fun. <laughs> My goodness, Daisy and Poppy, you're a long way from home. Bunny Rabbit! <laughs> Eggy! <laughs> Froggy! <laughs> ah! Daisy and Poppy are going bananas! <laughs> bananas! I'm a banana! <laughs> oh, darlings! There you are! I see you've been doing lots of fab magic. Hello, Gaston. There is nothing to worry about. <laughs> Pop Gaston up on my table, please. What a good ladybird. Now, let's have a look in your mouth. Hmm, nice healthy teeth. <laughs> wow, you're really good with animals. Well, I am a vet. She's my mum. Let's check your eyes. <laughs> His eyes look really big. Nearly done now. We'll just take your temperature. <coughs> Temperature's fine. All is good, good, good. Gaston, you're a fit and healthy ladybird. <coughs> Here's a sticker for a very brave boy. <coughs> Bye, Gaston. I shouldn't need to see you again for quite a while. Well done, brave boy. <coughs> <coughs> What's taking Ben so long? Mr Elf, we don't need to leave for ages. Relax. We're back. And not a moment too soon. We've got really good news. Gaston is fit and healthy. And the vet gave him a sticker for being a very brave boy. Lovely. Now, Ben, start packing. We're going on holiday, remember? Uh, Dad, I just had a very good idea. Yes? Gaston can come with us on holiday. Oh, yes! That's a super idea. No, this is a family holiday. Gaston is family. Um, where we're going, I don't think they allow pets. Yes, they do. Well, Gaston's not coming, and that's final. Aww. Now, for the one millionth time, Ben, please start packing your holiday bag. Yes, Dad. <laughs> I haven't been in a witch competition for years. What happens in a witch competition? There's a spell contest, broomstick riding and jam making. Well, your jam smells quite nice. See, I've lost my touch. Which jam is supposed to be horrible? Don't worry, we'll help you make it horrible. <laughs> what if you put in some snail slime? Snail slime? Yes, that could do it. And some worm poo? Yes, that would make it taste awful. You see, you can win. Now let's tackle the broomstick riding. 
I haven't ridden my broom in years. It's forgotten all its training. <laughs> here, boy. Good broom. Oh, come here, you silly old stick. <laughs> oh, dear. Let's try spells. Mrs Witch, you did the fastest spells in the West. Right, Mrs Witch. Turn these cans into frogs. <laughs> I'm trying, but I can't do it. <laughs> I'm afraid she's past it. Past it? She can't even turn a can into a frog. She might have been good at magic once, but now she's a bit of a has-been. Has-been? I'll show you. <laughs> <gasps> Mrs Witch, you turned Nanny into a frog. That's because Nanny got me annoyed. <laughs> Oof! If you can do magic like that in the competition, you'll be fine. So just remember to get cross with Wendy Witch. But she's so friendly and nice. It's your only chance to win. OK, I'll try to be cross. The dragon's egg is hatching. My dad says dragons are dangerous wild animals. And they breathe fire. Oh, I'm scared. Let's run away. Aww. Isn't it cute? Hello. Oh, it's so sweet. <coughs> Gaston, be nice to the baby dragon. <coughs> Bad ladybird. <coughs> What shall we call it? How about Cuddles? No, he should be called Fang. Yeah, Fang. I like Snuggle Bunny. Fire Claw. What about Dave? Dave the Dragon. Yay! Dave, that's your new name. <laughs> Dave has got really big paws. That shows he'll grow much bigger. What do you want, Gaston? <laughs> oh, all right. Fetch the stick. <laughs> wow! Aren't you clever, Dave? <laughs> he wants his tummy tickled. Oh, how cute! <laughs> Dave's the best pet in the world ever. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Gaston gone? Oh, I don't know. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. We've got Dave. Princess Holly! Home time! Oh, I've got to go now. Bye! Quick, into the houses! <laughs> Close the windows and doors! Just see little windows in the toadstools. All right, gather round, children. Yes, yes Miss Cookie. Cookie. Here are some toadstools. Tick toadstools off on your lists. Toadstools. <laughs> Miss Cookie, do toadstools have little windows in them? Uh, no. Lucy, that was close. Yes, but I think we got away with it. Next on the list is an oak tree. Let's go and find one. Oh, no! They're heading towards the great elf tree. We have to get there first. <laughs> big people! Big people! Coming this way! Ah! Big people! Big people! Everyone into the tree! <laughs> Here they come! Close the shutters! Good! It looks like a normal tree. Oh, look, a little person. Ah! Here we are. You can tell an oak tree by the shape of the leaves. Do oak trees have little people living in them? What? <laughs> of course not. Tick oak tree on your lists, everyone. Oak tree. Phew! That was close. You're telling me. Right. Next on the list is insects. This way, children. Uh-oh. They're heading straight for the little castle. We have to get there first. Wait for me. Daddy! Daddy! Big people are coming. Big people! 
big people! Quick, close the shutters! Good. Safe and sensible magic is what we do here. What's he doing? He's setting up the testing robot to do a magic spell. What's that? Lemonade! We're going to test the wand by turning the lemonade into something else. Is it going to turn into a golden coach? Or a monster with a hundred eyes and three legs? <laughs> Wait and see. The lemonade has turned into water. Why would you want to do that? That's not magic. It's very sensible magic. It's rubbish magic. Well, what would you turn it into? How about this? Ah! You did magic outside the test room. Oh, it's a lemon. I meant to turn it into a frog. Nanny Plum. My wand's not working right. It's rattling. Oh, I see what you mean. That doesn't sound right. Hmm. When did you last have this wand serviced? Ten years ago. Wands should be serviced once a year. Here, try that. Yes, that's much better. Nanny, you turned the wise old elf into a frog. So I did. Are you going to turn him back again? Oh, I suppose I'll have to. Silly old elf, back to yourself. Very good. But we already looked in books for the answer. What books did you look in? We looked in my storybook. And we looked in magic spell books. Well, there are different books for different things. There are books with stories in. Ooh, look, witches. And books about how things work. Wow, a rocket book. There are books about music. <gasps> oh, palm music for elves. My favourite. Books about animals. Oh, chickens. That's interesting. Books about vegetables. Oh, yes, I like vegetables, especially peas. You can find out any answer if you look in the right book. Ah, here we are. A book on stars. Is this going to have the answer? Let's see. Is everybody comfortable? Yes, yes Queen Thistle. On clear nights, we can see the stars twinkling in the sky. The light we see from each star is tiny, the tiniest little spot of light. We can only see it because the sky is so dark. Black! The night sky is pure blackness. Yes, it is, Holly. But when the morning comes and the sun rises, the sky gets brighter and the stars disappear. But, Mummy, where do the stars go? They don't go anywhere. What? They're still shining in the sky. We just can't see them anymore because the sky is so bright. It's obvious. I knew that. And when the sun goes down and the sky gets darker, we can see the stars again. When the sun goes. <laughs> oh, no! The twins have made all the elves invisible. <sighs> Who's going to help us now? Hmm. It's very quiet in the castle. I hope everything's all right. <sighs> Hello, my little ones. Mummy! Mummy! My goodness, you look tired. Have you been playing with Holly, Ben and Daddy all day? Yes, Mummy. Uh, where is Daddy? Glad you're home, darling. <gasps> Have you had a nice day? Why are you so tiny? Daisy and Puppy have been a bit naughty. They've made us little. I see. And where is Nanny Plum? Uh, she's been turned into that doll. 
press her tummy. Baby Plum, it's lots of fun. Change my nappy, please. I see. My mum tried to help, but that didn't work out too well either. And where is your mum? Up here, Your Majesty. <gasps> I'm afraid the twins have done something to all the other elves too. What other elves? Where are they? We're here, Your, Your Majesty. Majesty. We're invisible. Uh, right. And all this is Daisy and Poppy's doing? Yes. OK. Let's put everything right again. Make this magic all undone. Good evening, Your Majesty. So, are you telling me that I've gone away for just one day and the whole kingdom couldn't look after two little children? <sighs> it's been a long day. I think I'll go to bed early. Uh, Your Majesty, that might be a problem. What do you mean? Well, it's to do with Gaston. Yes? Nanny magic to this basket for Gaston to sleep in. Well done, Nanny. But the basket was too draughty. Hmm. Then he tried my bed, but that was too soft. Oh, dear. I don't like the sound of this. Don't worry, Daddy. Gaston's found a bed that he says is just right. Oh, but that's my bed. What's he saying now? Gaston says he is very tired and would like to go to sleep now. Good night, Gaston. Sleep tight. So, where are we going to sleep? That was the most uncomfortable night ever. Oh, how long is Gaston going to stay with us? I did say he could stay here until his cave was mended. And how long will that take? I don't know. You shall all eat ice cream! Hooray! Thank you, Queen Polly! <laughs> to make the ice cream. Oh, are you going to make the ice cream with magic? Of course I am. But Holly, your spells don't always work out quite right. Making ice cream is easy peasy. Watch. Abracadoo, abracabong. Uh, ice cream for everyone all day long. <laughs> See, it worked. Wow. Screams for everyone! Ooh, thank you! I'll be back with more! <laughs> oh, there's quite a lot! Will it stop soon? Uh, I think I told it to make ice cream all day long! Oh dear! <sighs> ah, we'll soon be home! Yes! And it's good to see that the kingdom isn't flooded with frogs or jelly or anything. Yes. Holly must be behaving herself. Ah! There's too many ice creams! Make it stop, Holly! Make it stop! Uh, is it is it is stop! 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 For you! That's better! Oh! Ah! Now, all astronauts into their spacesuits, get ready for takeoff. <laughs> <laughs> What's this? 
space for? There's no air in space. You'll have to wear a spacesuit. But we can just use magic to breathe. No, magic is not allowed aboard the elf rocket. You will have to leave your wands behind. <sighs> okay. Astronauts aboard the rocket. Queen Sissel, would you please come with me to the mission control room? Ooh. Systems check. Engines ready. Engines are go. Computers ready. Computers online. Fuel system ready. Fuel systems a okay. Start the countdown. Ten. I want to wish you all the best of luck. Eight. You are going where no elf Seven. has gone before. Oh, Seven. Oh, or fairy. Oh, sorry, Five. Holly. You are going where Four. no elf or fairy has Three. gone before. Is everyone Four. ready? All ready and a okay, wise old elf. Zero. Here we go. Next up, the moon. Blast off. <laughs> Hang on, everybody. All systems go. Where did it go? Where did it go? Where did it go? Into space! It actually worked. I wasn't expecting that. We are now out of Earth's atmosphere. We can take off. Is it morning already? Oh. Must tidy up. Must tidy up. Put me down! Put me down! Uh, goodness me! What's happening? The robot is tidying up everything! Yes! Including us! It's a monster! How do we stop it? Only Ben can stop it! Hello? Mrs Elf speaking. Hello, Mrs Elf. Sorry, it is a bit late, but this is an emergency. We need Ben. Now? Right-o! Ben, there's an emergency at the little castle. We have to go right away. Right-o! Elves to the rescue! <laughs> Who's the best at rescuing? Elves are best at rescuing! And what are we? We're elves! <laughs> it's the elves! Hooray! Look! There's my robot! Put me down! Oof! Bad elf. Master. 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 Oh, it's wound down. Hooray! But what could have caused the toy robot to act so strangely? Uh, I think it was my magic key that did it. Ah, magic! <laughs> what have you got there, Gaston? <laughs> it's the proper key. Well, well done, done, Gaston. <laughs> uh, Ben, are you sure that's a good idea? It'll be fine. <laughs> ah, that's the toy robot I remember. Gaston has spots on his back. And Gaston's bed is where he lies. <coughs> it's another map. Ooh. The X shows the little castle. Impossible. I've dusted every nook and cranny of the little castle. I would have found it. Maybe it's well hidden, me sweetheart. Mm. To the little castle. Hello, everybody. Peace of the night. Oh, goodness me. Daddy, we're searching for pirate treasure. My uncle is Redbeard the Elf Pirate. Your Majesties. A pirate, eh? Not a nasty pirate, Your Majesty. A good pirate. For I am Redbeard the Elf Pirate. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Well, that's all right, then. So, where's this treasure? Hmm. Up above the castle, I point to the sky, and hidden underneath me is where the clue lies. Well, that's just nonsense. I know. 
The roof is above the castle. And it points to the sky. Very clever, Your Majesties. But that's ridiculous. I've dusted on top of the roof a hundred times. Maybe it'd be under the roof. I've an idea. Take a look under the roof, Nanny Plum. Oh, are you sure, Your Majesty? I command it! As you wish. Zip, zap, zap! Roof lift up! Oh, I meant take a look through the attic door. Oh. <laughs> Another map! The X is at the river. So he wants a bucket of custard? And a big jar of pickles? Yes. Hmm. I knew it. I should never have used a gnome. What's wrong with gnomes? Oh, they make everyone else work while they just eat and sleep. Grumbling again, Nanny. I say, are we going on a picnic? No, Daddy. This is food for Mr Gnome. What are we going to eat for dinner, Nanny? There's no food left, Your Majesty. The gnome has eaten it all. Nanny, remember that Mr Gnome needs plastic flowers too. Plastic flowers? They go with the windmill. Windmill? I'd better see what this gnome is up to. <coughs> oh. Ah, thank you, wise old elf. I couldn't have done a better job myself. Pretty bridge. I can see you've certainly been working hard, Gnome. Yes, your kingliness. So, when will it be safe for you to leave? Oh, well, I don't think it ever will be, your royalness. What? I might have to stay here forever. But what about my golf? I won't get in your way. But you are in my way. Ooh. Custard and pickles. <laughs> I can't play golf with all this stuff around. I know. We can play crazy golf. Yes, crazy golf. This crazy golf is much better than the other kind. Yes. <laughs> Pickle, carrot, onion, peas and cheese. That doesn't sound very special. Shush, I am thinking. Voila! One recipe for a very modern meal. Hooray! This is a library. Can I borrow this book, wise old elf? You can keep it, Princess Holly. Fairy books do not belong in the Elf Library. Thank you. King and Queen Marigold, how lovely to see you. Hello, darling. It's always a pleasure to visit your little kingdom. <coughs> I hope you're hungry. Nanny's been in the kitchen all day. We haven't eaten a thing since breakfast. We didn't want to spoil a dinner made by the best cook in the whole world. I wonder if baked beans are modern. Nanny, we've got a magic cookbook. Hello, Nanny Plum. Oh, you found my cookbook. Where was she? She was in the elf library. What were you doing in there? I was getting very bored. <laughs> <laughs> the book knows a recipe for a modern meal. Oh, good. What are the ingredients? A potato, a carrot, an onion, some peas and cheese. But that's what I would normally cook. Yes, the ingredients are simple, but the way we cook them is not. Now, boil a pot of water. Chop potato, carrot, onion, peas and cheese. And put them into the pot. Boil for one minute and then collect the steam. And serve. Is that it? It is a very 